I first moved to Naivasha in 2012 to pilot our solar treatment for human waste. And as we worked here, we quickly realized an entire sanitation service was needed. So we started piloting in-home toilets with waste collection services. And as we started working and living with villagers, we realized a lot of other problems. We actually saw people combine dirt with ash and charcoal dust and trash to create these balls of burning fuel that were terribly inefficient and very unhealthy, all because they couldn't afford the price of standard charcoal. Here in Naivasha, charcoal is king. But due to deforestation, prices are skyrocketing and still we're losing precious forests at unbelievable rates. Due to this high need and our experience in sanitation, we're actually able to use human waste to create a low cost alternative to charcoal. See, human waste when dry actually has a really high calorific value and its natural sticky properties make it a very unique candidate for briquette production. Our solar waste treatment actually renders waste not only safe, but dry in an ideal state to be combined with the abundant rose waste here in Naivasha to create organic briquettes. Our briquettes have shown to boil water for twice as long and emit less smoke and less carbon monoxide than charcoal. And from working with local partners, we know we can make and sell our briquettes for about 30% cheaper than charcoal, about 25 cents per kilogram. Energy is a huge need in high density, low income areas. If we can handle some of the energy needs and at the same time tackle the sanitation problems, we have a double win system.